since you helped us out with the equipment and all. <coughs> I was wondering if I could talk to you. <coughs> it's, it's probably <coughs> not, but I can't afford to go get it looked at. I know. I wish it were that easy. Actually, maybe this is wrong. You're a total stranger. Forget I said anything. Really? That bad? I... Well, it's clear you want to help. Maybe I can trust you. See, I'd like to go to Reliant Medical for treatment, but... My father, Nathan, is an executive with the Reliant. I came to Sidonia to escape him. Nathan is not a good man. Not to me. And I did something terrible to him, so now he is searching far and wide for me. He has connections with doctors throughout the settled systems. I don't know which ones I can trust, and it won't end well for me if they snitch to him. Trevor tells me you're skilled in dealing with people. Maybe you could try to reason with my father, or maybe scare him into backing off. But you should know. He has powerful and dangerous friends, so you must be careful. If it works, I'll be free. If not, well, at, at least he still won't know where to find me. What do you think? It just so happens there's a conference he goes to on Neon around this time of year. He always stays at Hotel Volai. He won't see visitors he doesn't know, but maybe he'll talk if you tell him you're there on my behalf. It's risky, but maybe he'll listen if he knows you mean him no harm. I've got it. Bring him a bottle of his favorite whiskey, Red Harvest Reserve. Say it's... <coughs> Say it's a peace offering from me. That whiskey is exceedingly rare. I'm sure it will pique his interest enough to hear what you have to say. Good luck. You can check with Jack at the Broken Spear for the whiskey. He may have some or... <coughs> know where to get it. And thank you so much for trying to help me. Am I glad I got this job instead of mining some dead rock out in the middle of nowhere? All my life I've wondered about... Well, you know... The question... Problems. I am, but you don't look like the type that could afford it. The last person that came through here asking about it was none other than Governor Hurst. Didn't even want to drink it. Said he was buying it to put it on display in his office or something. Seems like a waste, but eh, whatever. He paid up. Now you got my attention. This ought to be good. I do have a soft spot for that girl. Why didn't you say so? I know Rivka's story. Will this really help her? I hear you. I'm still willing to talk. Tell you what, 
I'll do this as a favor for Rivka. She's been through a lot. I'll only charge you what I paid for the whiskey years ago. Pay me that, and it's yours. I sure hope you're not pulling my leg about this whole thing. Or else I just let all that money slip away. You better do justice for Rivka. Welcome to the Hotel Voli. Are you here to rent a room? I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that our luxury accommodations are more than reasonably priced. <laughs> That's the first thing that all of my guests say. My hotel is completely free from administrative influence, so you can rest assured that you'll be actually getting the best value for your credits. Indeed it does. And all it took was a dash of my own ingenuity to make it happen. But that's a story for another time. So, can I book you a room for the night? Oh, how nice! His daughter must be feeling very generous to be sending him something like that. Mr. Ovadia is in his room on the third floor. I'll buzz him and let him know you're on your way. Red Harvest Reserve, huh? I assume this is from my daughter. Well, she knows how to get my attention. So what then? You're working with her? She thinks this will be enough to smooth things over between us? <laughs> of course it was. Ah, I should have not been so blind. You have no idea what you're doing. You need to tell me where she is this instant. My own daughter assaults me in my own home, steals my personal spacecraft, then runs off to who knows where. Now you think a friendly little chat is going to smooth it all over and make things better? How foolish do you think I am? Hmm. My daughter knows me well. Maybe she is serious about this. She would really put her own life at risk due to me. She puts me in a difficult position. She needs to face consequences. Yet, I do not wish her to die. You may be right about that. Let's look at this more calmly. I suppose I've overreacted. She was young, and while foolish, she is still my daughter. And... Rivka is all I have left of my wife. I would do her a disservice to incriminate her daughter like that. Yes. Tell her I will drop the charges immediately and call off the bounty hunters. And I suppose I will seek her out to talk. I may just need a little time to figure out how to say what I need to say. Thank you. Shocked how Governor Hurst. What if we just brought about 
We need to talk. <coughs> I received an urgent message from my father. He's dropped the charges. It will still be difficult. There's a lot we need to speak about, but I think we may be able to mend our relationship, thanks to you. Of course. <laughs> we will be taking things slow. There is a lot of trust to rebuild. But he acknowledged and apologized for his past behavior. That is a good first step, and I am willing to let him back into my life, bit by bit, as long as he proves his words and commits to change. Without your intervention, this would not have been possible. <laughs> and I can finally treat this. Thank you. I cannot repay you enough.